Foundation Module 5. Use Modular Integrated. Undergraduate Curriculum Physiology, Dr. M. Ashraf Thind. Senior Demonstrator, Sheikh Zayed. Medical College Physiology Department. Founder and CEO of Dr. Sheen Medical Lecture. Superfast Simplified Physiology. Video. Lecture Notes. Gaitan and Hall 14, Edition Chapter Number 38. Respiration, Pulmonary Ventilation. Lecture Number 4. Learning Objectives. Discuss the mechanism of pulmonary ventilation. Pulmonary ventilation. Pulmonary ventilation, or breathing, is the flow of air into and out of the lungs. In pulmonary ventilation, air flows between the atmosphere and the alveoli of the lungs by cyclic respiratory muscle activity. Or, pulmonary ventilation is the process of breathing, which involves the movement of air into and out of the lungs. The major mechanisms that drive control pulmonary ventilation are atmospheric pressure. Three pressure considerations are important in ventilation. 1. Atmospheric pressure, barometric, is the pressure exerted by the weight of air in the atmosphere on objects on Earth's surface. At sea level, it equals 760 millimeter mercury. Atmospheric pressure decreases with increasing altitude above sea level as the layer of air above Earth's surface correspondingly decreases in thickness. Minor fluctuations in atmospheric pressure occur at any height because of changing weather conditions that is, when barometric pressure is rising or falling. Two alveolar pressure. Air pressure inside the lung alveoli. When the glottis, the part of the larynx, it consists of true vocal cards responsible for the production of sound, is open, and no air is flowing into or out of the lungs. The pressure in all parts of the respiratory tree to the alveoli are equal to atmospheric pressure which is considered zero, that is, zero, zero, centimeter water pressure. To cause inward flow of air into the alveoli during inspiration, the pressure in the alveoli must fall to a value slightly below atmospheric pressure, below zero. The second curve, labeled alveolar pressure. Of figure 38.2 given below indicates that during normal inspiration, alveolar pressure decreases to about minus one centimeter water, one saxometer water. This slight negative pressure is enough to pull 0.5 liter of air into the lungs in the two seconds required for normal, quiet inspiration. During expiration, alveolar pressure rises to about plus 1 centimeter H20, which forces the 0.5 liter of inspired air out of the lungs during the two to three seconds of expiration. Three, pleural pressure or intrapleural pressure, and its changes during respiration. Pleural pressure is the pressure of the fluid in the thin space between the lung, pleura, and chest wall pleura. This pressure is normally a slightly negative pressure. The normal pleural pressure at the beginning of inspiration is about minus five centimeter of water, which is the amount of suction required to hold the lungs open to their resting level. During normal inspiration, expansion of the chest cage pulls with the greater force and creates more negative pressure to an average of about 7.5 centimeter H2O outward. In the lower panel, figure 38.2 shows the increasing negativity of the pleural pressure from minus 5 to minus 7.5 centimeter water during inspiration and in the upper panel an increase in lung volume of 0.5 liter, 500 milliliter. Then, during expiration, the events are essentially reversed. Like and share Dr. Sheen Medical Lectures.